Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. Today we're going to talk about the three most important key points of the two-handed backhand. So the first key point that we're going to talk about is the hip rotation. We posted a video the other day about not using too much hip rotation or too early of a hip rotation on your forehand and the same thing applies to the backhand. So if we're taking a look at the backhand here, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that the left foot and thus also the left hip stays grounded and attached to the ground until at least the contact point happens. From there you can take a step through if you need to because you have too much upper body rotation, that's okay. But it should never be a goal of yours to make sure that that step happens or that you're rotating your hips on the backhand. The second most important key point is what happens with your upper body. So we're going to give you two little reference points here that make sure that your upper body rotation works as intended. So if we're taking a look at the backhand here, obviously we're starting with our racket back, we're trying to drop our racket and then we're going to try to swing forward through the contact point. Now these key points, most people got that right already. Some people don't, obviously then that's something you need to work on first. But once you're done with the back swing and you get that, that loop in the back correct, then the next thing is that you have to make sure that you're swinging in the right direction. So we're trying to use full upper body rotation, that means full range of motion in our upper body when we're rotating. And so in order to do that, the reference point we're going to give you, or the two reference points are, when you're done with your swing, your left elbow should be pointing forward and slightly up, and your right elbow should be pointing to the side. What we don't want to see on the back end is that your elbows end up somewhere like this. Your left elbow pointing down, your right elbow almost attached to the side of your body. This creates a problem because now you didn't use full range of motion on your rotation, which also means that you already started to slow down your swing before you made contact with the ball. So as you can see, that's not very beneficial because that means that you didn't use all the power you could have possibly created, no matter now if you're trying to hit hard or soft, because obviously you can rotate slower or faster, but that means your, your power is not as effortless as it could be, it's not as efficient as it could be, and thus your whole motion is not perfect. So in order to try to get that motion to be better, again keep your left elbow pointing forward in the end of a motion and the right elbow going to the side rather than pointing down. And the third key point that's very important is that you make sure that your stance is a bit more open than it would be on the forehand. So if we're hitting a forehand, many people like to take a stance like this, right? Some people hit open stance, but they're still very much turned sideways with their hip or with their, with their knees. On the backhand side, you don't want to be as sideways. Since both of your hands are connected to the racket, the range of motion overall is already a little bit, you know, smaller as it is um, than it is on the forehand side. And so that means that now we need to make sure that we can rotate all the way throughout the contact point. So if I'm hitting towards the camera now, I'm not trying to have a stance like this, very sideways, because as you can see, in order to hit the ball cross court, I have to make contact somewhere around here. This is already, you know, way past the point where my, where my rotation started to slow down. So that means I'm already hitting very soft here in comparison to here. But if I hit it here, it's not even going down the line, it's going slightly towards the left, it's almost a backhand inside out. That's a problem because now the ball is most likely going to be out and I can't get the ball cross court on a consistent basis. So you don't want to have such a sideways stance on the backhand. On the forehand, you could do that. You could stand like this, you could stand like this, it doesn't matter. Your hips can be very sideways and you can still hit a hard cross court shot. Obviously, it's also going to feel a bit uncomfortable, but it's going to feel a lot better than it does on the backhand side. So make sure that your stance is a bit more open, meaning if you're stepping in with the right foot on the last step, your foot points a lot more forward than, it, than you usually feel comfortable with it when you're doing it on the forehand, so you can transfer all that power through your shot. So it's really important that you do that, but make sure you don't lean on your front foot right from the start of the hitting, because now you don't have any weight transfer through the ball and you're losing a lot of power. So instead, take that step, keep a bit more weight on the back foot and push your weight forward towards the front foot during the contact point. But no, don't forget, don't rotate your hips. 
One more time, I'll show you the perspective from the side real quick. Imagine I'm hitting now over the net, obviously. I want that stance to be a lot more open than I want it on the forehand side. And I want my weight to be a little bit more on the back foot so I can push forward during my swing, making sure that the weight transfer happens at the same time as the contact point, And I thus accelerate a lot more into the ball without putting in so much effort. So now in conclusion, one more time, these are the three most important points, the three key points that we talked about. Number one, don't roll, over rotate your hips, keep them stable, keep your left foot grounded. Number two, make sure that your left elbow finishes pointing forward, your right elbow points towards the side. And number three, make sure that your stance is a lot more open than it usually is on the forehand, so you get easier power transfer and have an easier time hitting your balls cross court. And now here we have all three key points one more time shown by Kata and me in slow motion. You can see how our hips don't turn until contact, our elbows move in the right way, the left elbow pointing forward in the end, the right elbow pointing to the side. And then also we use a pretty open stance with our right foot pointing forward on all our shots here. So that makes it a lot easier. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.